people, 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 people. K pasa sa pa say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is about a story that I spoke about maybe about a couple of days ago. And it pertains to a young lady. Her name is Maquisha, M A C Q U I S H A Smith. She was missing on the 18th of November and she was found on or about the 21st or the 22nd of November 2021. So, therefore, three to four days later. Her body was found. She was fling away in a some place in a Port Royal, I think. Not 100% sure. However, I am sure that she is gone. Now, people, the funny thing about this young lady's losing her life is that based on information that I got, this young lady is actually from a quiet place in St. Mary. She moved from the country and she came to town. She has a father, she has some relatives that lives in the vicinity of Denham Town and also Tivoli Gardens. I think she resided in Denham Town at the time of her demise. Now people, based on information it is said that this young lady, she's a hard working young lady. She works at some sort of beauty. A place that does hair, does braids, nails, stuff like that. However, she also has a double life. And when I say a double life, I mean that she is involved with some unscrupulous characters. Meaning that her boyfriend, he is a gangster. Now people, based on the information, it is said that she is from Denham Town. However, she has... A boyfriend that lives in Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli Gardens and Denham Town, they are rivals. What makes the situation even worse is the fact that her sister, whose name is Chevelle, her sister is also a baby mother for one of the persons from the next side, opposition side. His name is Boise. Now, people, the people them did a kind of screw up them face before the war between Denham Town and Tivoli Gardens kind of trigger back, in which we saw a couple of persons lost their life. I am speaking about a youth named Chrissy. Chrissy lost his life. They were looking for blacks. However, you know what I'm saying? If them can't catch Quaker, they might go catch him shut. Now, people, as it pertains to Marquisha's sister, Chevelle, she is also the baby mother for a youth named Boise. Boise lost his life the other day in the same gang war. Based on the information, it is said that Maquisha, she was present at the time. And as a matter of fact, because of the fact that the sister, Chevelle, was pregnant, that is why Chevelle did not lose her life. Them kind of have some sort of sympathy for her. And also the fact that Maquisha, she was on the scene when Boise allegedly lost, well, he lost his life by members of the opposition gang. Now, people, here's the story. As it pertains to these two sisters, the man them, they kind of uh, screw up them face when they realize that, listen, when you pass on the era, a man has shout off of you, you act like you can't talk, you act like you want to hide from the people them. And then you are over there dating the opposition. Now people, truth be told, you have the right as a woman, as a man to date whoever you want. However, those rules change slightly. Well, not slightly. Extremely. When you are in any sort of rival gang territory. So therefore, it was bad enough when they were dating men from the opposition side. However, when people start to lose their life. When persons were out for B-L-O-O-D, people start to think, so, hold on a minute. I wonder if these girls are giving information on people. You know that that is the cardinal sin, number one, if them feel as if you are informing, especially when they carry pom-pom feelings, especially when they see you coming all time a morning, all time a night, and they kind of assume where you are coming from. You are coming from the opposition. So people, you know the thing go. The fox can't get the grape, him said the grape sour. 
So therefore, the people them from her era or the sister era, they must say, listen, them girls are going like them too hot. They are going like them can't deal with man from our side. However, them do over the next side to some little man where we don't even like, we don't even respect. So therefore, you know what? We are going to set an example. The first time when we went for a Boise and the sister Chevelle was there because she's pregnant, we kind of ease her up. And we know that when we went, Marquisha was also there. However, we kind of overlook it, we make it slide. However, people, the things start get kind of extreme right now. And them I feel like they are carry information. And them I feel like, well, they are indeed carrying all sorts of pom pom feeling. So therefore, them take with this girl. Now, people, when you hear stuff like this, it tells you once again the mindset, how them think simple, how them made things, they try to um, justify their action. Them start to pull all sorts of card. So people, whenever you're living at a garrison, you can lose your life for just about anything. Any sorts of petty reason. Once people start to use psychs and start to say, yeah, I saw. Person are not going to say, even if I 10 people at the gang, they are not going to say, no nah, man, them just a date some little idiot man from over. So no, them are say, you know, say a true. Them are in pharma for real. And worse when things kind of broke out like sore. Whenever you're in those type of position, you're supposed to know yourself. But people like me say, Marquisha is a girl, she come from St. Mary. She's not as street smart as she might think. She don't really know the role just like that. However, because of the fact that she realized, listen, I them man and run the place over so. And even though I come from over so, my man a bad man. So therefore, no man can give me no chat. However, people, she would learn the hard way. So therefore, she lost her life and people... I am not justifying their actions. I am just giving you the information based on information that I got. That is the reason. That is the motivational factor in which this girl lose her life, life or lost her life. So I just as say, as it pertains to Chevelle, the sister, just understand that is what is going on. That is word on the street. So therefore, take heed and do the right thing. Because if you don't do the right thing, some people are going to do you the wrong thing. And you know exactly what I am speaking about. Point blank and period. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe to this channel, and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon, and also press all in the option. Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news is based on some incidents that occurred in the Saint Catherine era. It is said that on Tuesday, a man, 22 year old, and his name is Khalil Bent, he was a student at the Caribbean Maritime University. It is said that it seems as if Mr. Bent was having all sorts of mental issues. Mr. Bent was basically losing his mind. So there are some videos circulating all over social media. And in these videos, Mr. Khalil, 22 year old, was seen. Rushing a driver of a pro box motor car. Whenever the pressure get too hard for the driver, the driver take with himself, put him foot in him hand and run away from the scene. Mr. Khalil then took that man's car and drove off, crashing into a next vehicle. It is said that after that incident, he pushed down the gates of some sort of premises. Don't know if it is a residential or commercial. However, him rush the security guard. The security guard wheel and pop off and give him two piece. Now people, while all of this was going on, Mr. Khalil was also in a birthday suit. So people, there are pictures circulating all over social media and we see the popo, they are getting in their feelings. Because of the fact that it is said that this youth Khalil, he is a son of a popo officer. That Popo officer is presently out of the country. So therefore he is going through all sorts of drama, all sorts of trauma, all sorts of emotional stuff. Now people, what makes this story even worse is the fact that it is said that four hours afterwards, 
The relevant authority, meaning the popo, they went to the house of the mother. Her name is Omega Benz. And they found her gone. So it seems they are surmising. They are feeling as if the son basically take what the mother during his crazy spell. And then he went on a rampage. Take what people care, rush security guard and people. You know what happens in Jamaica whenever you rush somebody with any sort of tool. Legal or illegal, you are going to end up in the afterlife. If you are lucky, you are going to end up in the place of recovery. However, people, luck was not on the side of this young man because he was acting extreme. And extreme things call for extreme measures, meaning that him get something that his body did not require. So people, at the end of the day, we are speaking about tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. So people, at the end of the day, we are speaking about a very unfortunate incident in which two persons lost their life, both of them the son and the mother of a popo officer, point blank and period. Now people, what is also sad about the way that this lady, the mother, the wife of the popo officer lost her life, is that it is said that it seems as if she got hit in the head, some sort of blunt force trauma. So people, just imagine what the son did to his own mother. People, this is very sad. Point blank and period.